All right, what is up, everyone? Here we are today with Derivatives Jade Value Challenge. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to get as much value as possible from Jade. I don't know. I don't know if I ever uploaded the video. I feel like I might have done. I did one with Scarabs where I had to get as much Tiberium value as possible with Scarab kills. Uh, that was sponsored by Pablo. Now we're doing a Jade version of that. So there's a complicated rule set, uh, which I'm not going to go through entirely because there's a lot there's a lot of rules. But basically, I get more value for base kills and I get value for killing enemy units and I lose value for firing a Jade missile that does nothing and I lose value for killing my own units with Jade. Um, I think... The chem warrior who sets off the jade missile is exempt from this rule because, you know, most of the time you're going to send in a chem warrior, you're going to blow up, you're going to use the chem warrior as well to get additional chain explosions. I think I'm actually going to end, I might end up losing value. I start at 1500 because we're doing a 15 game event. Uh, I might end up, at, I might end up lower than 1500 because jade is so bad. <laughs> I think I could legitimately fire off a bunch of jade missiles that just completely miss. But 15 games. We've got 15 games to try and uh, to try and accrue Jade value. Oh, enemy playing Jade. I get mad value for dodging enemy Jade missiles. This is very exciting for me. What am I playing again? I'm playing Jade tank. Okay, Jade tank might be a little too expensive because I can't use my Jade missiles that often. The more expensive unit I kill as well, the more value I get. So if I can. Uh, if I can like Jade missile this dude's uh, this dude's tech unit, that is going to be a lot of value. I've also got Jade emotes now, chat. There is no denying my genius. I got myself some Jade emotes specifically to do this challenge, so I can uh, I can Jade emote between missiles. Normally I'd make a tank here. I don't know if I want to. I want to save my money. Nah, I gotta make a tank, right? This guy's just making bites. Oh, nice. I dodged most of his missiles. That's exciting. Jade is quite expensive, is the problem. It takes a while. You can't really spam Jade that much. Maybe I should double harvester. Double harvester chem Jade spam. That might be. I do have to win the games to get the value, though, so. You know. Going double half chem spam might actually uh, <laughs> might not be the one. This guy's only making bites. I do get I do get some points for a base kill, so maybe I'll go for the base. I don't want to get more value than just killing the base though. I'm just waiting for him to make a tech unit right now, so I can try and jade missile it to death. Chem buggy, that's unfortunate. Come on, bro, make something expensive for me, a jade missile. My body is ready. I hope he doesn't make a flame tank, that would suck. Oh! Oh, no! Whoa! I think I just lost a bunch of points. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I think I lose points when he kills my stuff with Jay. Oh, this is going terribly, chat. Why doesn't he make a tech unit? I need something to kill with my Jade missile. Oh my god, this is such a letdown, chat. Two bike squadrons, that's all I got. It's pathetic. <laughs> that was rubbish. Very poor start. What's up with Jornel? We're doing good, although we're actually just about to hit the halfway mark. He isn't the one doing the challenge. Yeah, true story. But like, when you have chem warriors, it's pretty hard not to lose something to an enemy jade missile, because there's loads of clouds around. When did he jade missile? 
It was around here, wasn't it? So he killed Kems and a Scorpion. That's 130. And then I killed two Bite Squadrons, right? So that's 60. So I'm down 70 on the first exchange. That's not good, man. That's not good. Wait, why didn't that work? Is it big boss mine? How do you do it again? Oh, I only, did I, will I only do it in ones? You're right, copycat. You're right, it's half that value. Yeah, you're right. It's five pence per ten tip. Maybe we should just track it. Let's just track it in tens, because that'll be way easier. And then at the end, we can say to derivative, you know, this is how much it's up or down. So we can we can halve it at the end. That sounds easier to track, right? Let's just do that. That seems, yeah, that seems way easier to track. I can't believe I'm down 70 on the first game. What a beating. If I dodge his missile, I get... How much do I get? Two? No, I get one for dodging, and two for them killing their own units and me taking none. Each match is independent, you can't go below 1500. Uh... Talk about that in a second. Why not? <laughs> Objective received. Right off against William, playing Solomon. Hopefully we can actually get some gate value this time, because last time was no gate value. It was terrible. I thought that was why we had a starting amount derivative. I thought we had a starting amount so that I could lose at the start. Which I'm okay with. I'm okay with, I'm okay with being able to go down. Wow, Savage Black Ranger. Absolute savagery. The people have risen up after Liang loses her mod. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should just go for the base kill. The base kill is pretty good value. I might go for base kill killing a unit that comes out at the same time. That way I can get even more value. Oh. Oh. Got him. <laughs> I feel like I should get value for dodging an iron cannon, but it is not a jade, sadly. Alright, sadly no value in that last game. It takes a while before you can get enough money to use a jade missile. I might try double half jade missile spam in this game. I might want. I might. I might try that to see. Uh, see. See how much value we can get. You do have to win the game, though. That is the downside. So, can't just completely throw to spam Jade missiles. I think I'm gonna do it. I want to see what happens. I'm gonna go double half. I'm gonna go double half and see how many Jade missiles I can get off in a game. Putting into chems takes a long time from wheels, and we spent 60 on the half. That slows us down even more. Ah, oh, misclick. Yeah, we're gonna lose first missile pretty pretty quickly here. Yeah, chems are not gonna be in time. Maybe this double half plan wasn't good. If the game just ends at like two minutes, I haven't really achieved much with my extra cash. I could just start firing off missiles here. It's actually semi tempting to just fire off a missile there. There's too many clouds, I'm gonna kill my own stuff. <laughs> Oh 
Come on, buddy, make something. Make something I can kill with my Camoria. Go, go. Right, dude. dude, what is happening? Why do my opponents do nothing? Uh oh. <laughs> I thought he'd send the flame tank at the Kents. <laughs> oh my god, this is a nightmare chat. This is the challenge, is the worst. I can't get any points. <laughs> I have so much money. <laughs> oh, Jay is so terrible. Why does this guy have flame tank as well? Like of all the units he had to have, why did I have to be flame tank? All right, here we go, chat. This is gonna be great. Oh, yes, it worked. <laughs> I'm rich, chat. I'm rich. <laughs> we got him. We got him, boys. <laughs> I'm so rich! <laughs> oh my god, that was glorious. That was worth it. That was worth it all. Just that one hit. <laughs> that was so good. We got like two banshees and a flame tank. Alright, last game the double harvester was not very successful, but I feel like I feel like this still has potential. Maybe after first missile we double halved to spam missiles. Maybe that's the play. There is no oh. denying my uh, I was going to attack this, but actually, if it's an MG, that gives us a great setup for a Jade missile. So I'm actually not going to attack it. I'm going to leave it there and just save up for the Jade. It does make the math easy. We can do that if you want, derivative. Okay, so that puts us at... Can someone do the math on what that puts us at? This could be a pretty good Jade missile. There's no harm with Jade or Inferno or uh, Solomon or Kane. Any of those just like there's so many things that hard counter no harm MG. Like sometimes it's a beating, but also there's a ton of things that just counter it. Here, watch this chat. Goodbye, sweet MG. <laughs> so much value. Now we need to try and get the base kill because the base kill is good value as well. Your favorite snipers? What you just pop them? Yeah, that is good. I'm gonna go after the base now. So the, ba the base has great value, so I wanna try and get the base kill. I think I need a little bit more damage on the base here. It's not quite gonna do it. This might do it with the extra cloud from the rifles. Okay. Ah, wasn't enough. Rip. I guess we can just wait for another Jade missile to win the game. Or we can try and milk even more value out of our opponent. No, we surrender. No. <sighs> Rip. Oh, how much do I get for an obelisk? Dude, how much do I get for an obelisk? <laughs> obelisk is easy to kill with Jade Missile. And also the rules don't state I have to kill something with the Jade Missile, I just have to hit it. So like tech units that survive the explosion, I still get the value. So obelisk is, I'm gonna like, farm mad dollar on this obelisk. Oh, 
Mammoth is the green, yeah, for sure. Mammoth or Avatar would be would be super good. The rules do say killed. Oh, okay, never mind then. Maybe they got chained. I think we're gonna do the second harvester after first missile to this guy. Because I want to get more money for Catalyst missiles. I like how he retargeted onto the onto the harvester there. He's got his priorities sorted. Giga Cannon. It's a scary unit. If only I had 80 tip right now, that would be the dream. I don't think I can get the Giga with the chems. I need to get closer. I need to actually walk up to the Giga if I'm going to get it. Now I'm going to lose my chems in the process, but I'm going to get mad value here. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Didn't get the laser, but got everything else. I want to get this. I don't want to chem these bikes. I don't want to cloud there. I want to get my chems forwards. Okay, I need to be careful with this one. I don't want to lose too much of my own stuff. Uh, actually, let's run this one away. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> so much value! <laughs> Sadly, we did not get open water again, which is probably the best map for my, my chaining jade explosions. Uh, militant opening, you say? I think we'll stick to the plan of... Uh, we'll stick to the plan of one half, first missile, second half. If we, if we feel like we can get a lot of value out of the missiles, we'll go second half. After first missile, to really spam jade missiles. I do have to win to get the points, so... There is some amount of uh, there is some amount of consideration there. I'm not gonna make another unit. I was gonna go chems, but now he's not doing anything. So okay, now I'll go chems. If he, I thought he was gonna tech switch, so I didn't really want to go chems. But now that he's made the other laser, venom. We can take that out with the bikes. I don't really want these wheels anymore, so I'm gonna try and get rid of those. Ah, the laser drones. The last refuge of a lunatic. Alright, we should get this missile pretty comfortable here. Yeah, let's go second harvester. I want the money for more jade missiles. Although it looks like we're mostly going to be getting venom kills with these jade missiles. Good jade missile here. I don't think it's going to be good enough. I think I'll wait for the next opportunity. Very few expensive units here, just Venoms. I think we're going to found some to shut them down. I need him to make something worth killing with the chems. Once we start rolling in cash, I'll start throwing out more Jade missiles, but at the moment we are like still... You know, we're only like a hundred tip or whatever. Maybe the base kill is the play here. Why does this guy not make any expensive units? Every unit he's made costs nothing. Uh, <laughs> that was nothing? <laughs> It's a very disappointing turn of events. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to like extend the game. I didn't really do anything there. <laughs> Why didn't my opponent make any useful units? The most expensive unit he made until the Phantom was like 30 tin. Oh wait, you're right. Only your own units are hit by the missile. Well, I think using him as the catalyst, he's exempt. If I killed one of my own units with the with the explosion, then uh, it would be minus four. But the guy I'm using as the catalyst, uh, is, is, he's allowed to die without negative value. Because otherwise, how am I supposed to catalyst? Looks like we're getting bike rushed. Very exciting stuff. The longer he's not attacking my harvester, the better it is for me. I should probably just go lasers as quickly as possible here. I think I'm going to lose my harvester though. Doesn't look like there's any way to save it, there's too many bikes on it, and this map is too far away from my spawn point to hide it. Yep. Shouldn't open harvester if you're opening war factory, because then you can get bike rush. Get the chem warrior onto the middle. That'll hold for ages. It's the second half, so we can spam Jade missiles. Although so far that strategy hasn't really worked out for me. Oh, here we go, we're gonna get some value! Alright, I think we just got the bites, it looked like the laser drone's dodged. Yeah, the laser drone's definitely dodged, just the bites there. Man, I have so few units. It's so hard to make units when you have double harvester. Great laser drones so much. Uh, I guess I'll make a phantom to get rid of the laser drones. That's so annoying though. <laughs> oh, laser guns are so annoying. Uh, I actually don't really want to win the missile yet. I really want to get some jade action. No. I got just wheels, I think. That was pretty underwhelming. I think I just killed a single wheel. I don't think I'm even going to count that as value. I'm not going to give myself negative because, you know, I did hit one enemy unit, but. <laughs> One wheel, essentially worthless. My opponent just won't make anything of any value. Like, he's just spamming 30 cost units. It's really hard to get Jade value out of someone who just makes 30 cost units the whole game. Like, he's only making laser drones and bikes, pretty much. I actually think I'm okay with him killing my harvester. I really would prefer not to have two harvesters anymore. Yeah, this guy just has nothing that costs more than 30, it looks like. There's nothing to Jade. There's just nothing to Jade. He's, everything he makes just costs like two Tiberium. It's so disappointing, man. Ah. There's nothing to do. Most expensive unit in his deck, 30 Tiberium. Oh yeah, this is the map I want. And we're playing a Jade Mirror. Jade Mirror is actually kind of scary because... So, it's actually very hard to dodge enemy jade missiles when there's clouds everywhere. And if I'm playing chems, I'm going to be putting clouds everywhere. Like, I lose money for him killing my stuff with jade. So, 
It's pretty difficult to avoid losing stuff to Jade when there's uh, when there's clouds all over the place. There is no denying my genius. Bikes? Bikes, you say? Where are these lasers going? Are they going to try and go all the way around the top? No, they stopped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Need a this chemical buggy. This guy looks like he might be trying to jade me, to be honest. He hasn't made anything in age. Oh, he's got a game cannon. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go for the value. We're gonna go for the dream shot. Oh. oh, let's go. Let's go, chat. <laughs> so much value. <laughs> You'd love to see it. I think this might be a double half game. I'm thinking about it. I don't know, man. It's so expensive to double half. Maybe I can just get value out of my tank and then save up for Jade Missile like that. If I can get another Giga, that would be amazing. Let's see if we can persuade him to make another Giga cannon. He really isn't making anything. I might go for the base kill this game. Because this guy's just doing nothing. I haven't actually got a single base kill yet. Alright, we just need to wait for Jade Missile cooldown and then I think we can win with the base kill. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm tempted to keep this game going <laughs> and try and get some Giga Cannons with Jade Missile. Oh, wait. Can I get the Giga as well? No, it's too far away. That's unfortunate. Alright, we do get base kill, though. We get base kill on another bike. <laughs> it will not make it a spoon. Uh, we're gonna go War Factory. We're, we're going War Factory opening and see if we're getting bike crash because obviously we got punished last time. Okay, John's has just gone for a harvester opening. Harvester bike. Okay, you got it, boss. We need to go a tank pretty soon in this fight mirror. Got him! This might be an appropriate double harvester game. We need to be more aggressive with my game missiles, I think. The problem is their cooldown is so long. Uh oh. The mutant. Mutant's probably good. Mutant is a high value unit to kill with Jade missiles. Alright, we've got a mutant and our own harvester. 
I don't know if I lose value for killing my Harvester, because I was actually doing it intentionally. Because I wanted him to not get my Harvester kill. So I don't know if that costs me value or not. Technically I killed my own unit, but it was definitely on purpose. I have to get a ruling from the judges on that, from the judges corner. <laughs> Judge's corner says don't kill your own harvester. Alright, rip. I guess we lose value for that. In that case, it was a value zero because we lost 60 and gained 60. Man, this guy is really persistent on that harvester. The loss of pop cap is really, really painful here. Like, super painful. I think we might have just gotten a buggy there, you know. I actually do need to lose a harvester permanently if I'm going to win this game. I do need to win the game to get the value, so... Now that harvester's gone, I don't think we're remaking it. Might be able to get off one more Jade Missile in this game. Oh, looks like we got a buggy and a uh, militant. Nice! Dark Lord Rizza. Open water is good for Jade Valley though. Big fan of the map. Haven't played half and half yet, which is also great because I hate that map. I'm just switching to chem soon. His wheels aren't going to hold out much longer. Can you swarm? Okay. I hate to see it. Could be APC deck based on what we've seen so far. APC is an interesting one. I guess we get 80 or 90 for cracking a shell of an APC with Jade. So we get, so we get additional for killing the missile inside. That's pretty interesting. Maybe I should have Jade missile there. It was a opening for some value. Okay. Oh. not right. Although we instantly killed it, it's not pretty good. It does look a lot like the APC deck. I kind of need my opponent to make some APCs here. Boom! Cave missile! <laughs> that was pretty good. That was some pretty good cash money. Mission accomplished. Guns again. New objective available. Harvester ready. 
We all know it's going to be Big Rig. I think Big Rig is a solid choice. I think everyone who's uh, who's in the poll is going to be a solid choice. Because they all stream regulars. Isn't it? No, Mystic, no! Oh, thank God for that. If those bikes had taken the hit there, that would have been absolutely brutal. I think we might go tank here. Well, he's not doing anything which makes me a little concerned. Okay, we'll go tank. Pew pew, got him! We might double half here. Oh, it's the mutant guy again? Hmm. I actually ended up being pretty unhappy with the result of the, uh, the double halving last time, so... Yeah, go after my harvester. Oh. He sent all his units up at my harvester, so wasn't there? This guy, I might go for a base kill. I feel like, yeah, with, he has the buggies. I think that the base kill might be the most value I can get out of this guy. Because the mutants are too fast. They just dodge the, the cat missile, especially with boost. So I think the most value I can get might be the base kill. We're gonna slowly make our way over. Slowly make our way over towards his base. Wait, that means I need to lose a missile as well if I want to get a base kill. A cerebral maneuver. <laughs> Wait, I need to lose a missile. Yeah, yeah. My bad, chat. My bad. So close. So close, chat. I'm pretty sure if I kill the base with bikes afterwards, that still counts, right? I feel like I might need a judge's ruling on this before I end the game, but... Like, I basically killed him with Jade Missile, right? I'm just gonna use the Jade Missile to confirm. <laughs> oh, he has Flame Tank? Lol. I'm just gonna do this just to com just to guarantee it. <laughs> oh, I need to check how much I got with the explosions as well on the first base hit. Establishing battlefield control. And John's again. I know that he has flame tank now. I saw his deck was flame tank cyborg. So, uh, that's interesting. What do I do against a mutant rush chat? I think I just fight it with wheels, right? Like, mutants beat wheels, but nowhere near cost efficiently. There's no way he's gonna get six wheel kills with these mutants. I'm just not gonna make a harvester. Yeah, this is definitely. Oh, he's pop capping me now? Yikes. What a cool dude. Okay, then. There is no denying my genius. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, just spam wheels was clearly the answer to the mutants. You can't kill the harvester if it's not there. Okay. I'm glad we navigated that successfully. I was a little worried that I might I might mess it up. Boost as well? Wow, this guy has all the money. I'm surprised after his uh, no half start he was able to 
get two mutants and a boost this quickly. Man, I'm playing this game great. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, chat, but wow. Look at that micro. Insane. How does he do it? You see how I maintained control of those paths? Never let him on, uh, lock me out of the middle. Oh, so good. There's a fucking hot camper now. Maybe he's mad at me because he thinks I was BMing him in the other games, but actually I was just trying to do a gauge challenge. Like, <laughs> nothing I did was was meant to be was meant to be rude. It was all just gauge challenge. Make up the base kill again. This isn't play cast play kill. <laughs> I don't think I can get anything here. I think uh, I think just winning the game is going to be enough. Yeah, just winning the game is going to be difficult enough. I don't know if this one counts. That doesn't count, right? Because it's after the game has ended. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, there it is. No points there. Alright, Andrew. Oh, no, half and half rip. I'm pretty hard to avoid half and half the whole time. He's playing Liang, which... kind of indicates... If he's playing Liang, he might have good Jade targets. Bet 100, no half MG. Oh, that's a good point. He might be playing MG. He's not playing no half. I think he does play MG though, which does give good Jade targets, so that's exciting. We can definitely set up some uh, some action against against an MG player. Does he does he play Tech though? That's an important question here as well. So tempted to Jade Missile this MG, but it's just a huge waste of Tiberium this early on. I can't afford to spend 80 killing an MG at this stage of the game. I need a tank. Oh, he's moving the MG, that seems like a misplay. I don't think he meant to do that. So tempting. I don't know if I can hold it, chat. I can't help myself, I have to do it! <laughs> it's such a waste of tip. There was the drone as well. I don't know if the drone counts, but if the drone counts, that's worth a lot of tip. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. It was just right there. It had to be done. It's just too tempting. I do need a, I do need a, I need a scorpion to actually win the missile though. Cat missile. It's only like 30, that was pretty weak. Super tempted to go double harvester in this matchup. This guy gives so many good jade targets. Double harvester could actually be insane. I think it's too late though. Eh, I don't know, maybe it isn't. I need to get another tank, and I need to get enough money for a jade missile, and I need to move, push my chems in for the MGs. Oh, look at how much value I can get from a jade missile here. Oh! No! <laughs> the ultimate jade whip! <laughs> That's so many negative points. 
I can't, I can't let it end here. I can't let it end here, chat. I must go again. I must go. I can't. I can't be the end. Oh, he has Titan. Oh my god, he actually has tech. That's a nightmare. I didn't realize he had tech in his deck. Okay, we're, we've just thrown. I should've just won the game. That was a lot of value there. I didn't actually kill the Titan though, which sucks. And I do need to win the game, which is looking very impossible at this point. Yeah, actually winning the game looks, looks impossible now. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, oh, I missed the block, damn it. That was it, that was my chance to win right there. Now I'm not going to get enough money again. Yeah, I think we're, we're, think we're broken now, chat. We don't have the money to go again. We're almost out. Oh, and I didn't move the scorpion right away. I think we've, I think we've, I think we've thrown it. I think we have thrown it, chat. Yeah, I can't beat Titans. That sucks. We're going for the alternate wing condition. No, I used all my money and now I can't cap myself. Oh, this is so bad. So close. So close, but I don't think we're going to get there. Go on, bikes. Go on the base. Let's do it. If he tightens his own base, that would be the most glorious ending of all time. I think I'm going to get him with the bikes. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's go. Never not winning the game. Let's go. Insane value. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> ah, we didn't kill the Titan, sadly, because the Titan has too many hit points. Okay, we got ourselves a Jade Mirror. Could be very exciting. How many pieces is it? It is. Doesn't seem to say on it anywhere. Um, I don't think it's too many though. It's not a, it's not a crazy one. I could probably bust it out in like an hour. Why is this guy? He's going straight into Giga. This guy's a monster. This guy is a monster. He's a horrible, horrible person. Going straight into Giga, you just, yeah, you, you you are you're a bad guy for sure. We'll try and get some bikes around the top. Oh, where are you going? Bikes go around the top. Oh, flippies, flippies, flippies! Oh, I didn't get the flippies. That's really sad. I was definitely getting the flippies there. We are going to win the missile though, so pretty beast. Gaggy. It's going to be hard not to get some of my units missiled here. Hmm, can I chem warrior now? I think maybe I chem warrior to try and set up the jade on the... On the chuggy, on the giga cannon, even not chuggy. We'll keep ducking in and out to get value. Put these wheels on. Okay, how close do we need to get the chems? I think the chems need to be on the chuggy. Oh, sorry, on the on the giga cannon to kill it, really. Oh. Oh, we got quite a lot there, actually. That wasn't bad. God damn it. Giga kind of so broke, man. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, oh, that's a lot of minus points. Oh wait, he killed a bunch of his own stuff. That might not be that bad. He rolled his chuggy into it. <laughs> I think he just killed everything. I think he just killed his entire army there. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's actually amazing. I think he killed literally his entire army. <laughs> so good. So good, chat. <laughs> A cerebral maneuver. <laughs> ah, last match against the mighty Boopy. Boopy is not bad. I don't know if I can mess around with Jade missiles against Boopy and still win the game. The name is Jade. I might have to just try and win this one. E, what are we switching into? Is it going to be a pit bull? Nice. I was hoping it would be pit bull. Gonna get the tank to help out with the with the wheels. I'm worried about what he's gonna do when I make the first chem warrior. I feel like there's a chance he's gonna make like drone swarm or something, and that would suck. I'm gonna make bikes. It's, it's gonna be like Razorback or drones. Yeah, it's drones. I was really hoping it wasn't gonna be drones. Really wanted it to not be drones, but what are you gonna do? Boopy is a strong player. I think we might be going for base kill as our highest value item. Like our big, our big ticket item. Probably going to be a base kill against Boopy. Let's just go for it. Mm. That guy's not going to be alive long enough. Come on. No, the chem's gonna die. Ah. Losing the chem means you lose a whole explosion, so it costs a lot to lose the chem there. Reduces your damage by a ton. But we do have... We can we can still lose, like, a whole missile before we, uh... Before, it, before we lose the game, so... We do have time. The one thing we have some amount of is some time. APC, that's fine, I'm playing a tank deck. APC is good jade value as well in this challenge. I don't know if it's good enough jade value though. I think the base kill, yeah. I kind of think the base kill is my, uh, where I should be aiming for. Oh, I didn't even notice these guys, these jabronis, sneaking onto the pad. Alright, let's send a gate, let's send a warrior up here. He's obviously going to see it coming, but we'll send bikes to help it out. Oh yeah, I think this is it, I think we got him. This warrior's in there, we've already done, uh, we've already done a couple of clouds worth. I think this has got to be lethal. Let's go! Let's go! Boopy down! Let's go! Jade base kill. I only got 100 points for the jade base kill there. Let's check the replay and see if we got any units at the same time. The title is Spree Anniversary. Wait, really? Oh my god. Dude, fucking volumes changed it and spelt it wrong. Unit 
Oh, we got. Oh, wait, hang on. Did we get two drone swarms? Or did the other one run away? What was it? Copy carrot? Sorry, Jamie. Just assumed it was you. Just this one, right? So just 20? Okay. Man, remember when someone said base killing wasn't possible anymore? Does anyone remember? I don't remember who it was, but... So let's see if we get any units at the same time. No. Oh, we got drones. Nice. That's 140. So our ending value is 3190. Is that right? No. Three zero nine zero. Oh, chat. Oh, plus 100 is 3,050. So, yeah, yeah, so 3,090. Okay. Cool. Take that. All right. There it is. 15 0 with the Jade Challenge. Accruing a total of 3,090 points. Starting from 1,500. So, we gained 1,590 points. That was great. I enjoyed that thoroughly. I hope you guys at home enjoyed that too. That was a really good challenge. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Pretty t pretty tired after that. That was a long one. That was good though. All right, see you next time.